Hi guys, today we're going to look at how we can create a slow motion effect in our game. As always, if you prefer written instructions, you can find a link to the text version in the description. We're going to start with the project we created in our Colliding with Obstacles tutorial. We've got a ball and a stack of boxes that all have a rigid body component attached so they can react to forces and collisions. We then have a simple script attached to the ball that applies a force when the arrow keys are pressed. We're going to add a new script to the ball to apply a slow motion effect when the spacebar is held down. To do this we'll select the ball in the hierarchy, click add component and add a new script called slow motion. We'll double click the script to open it in Visual Studio. To run in slow motion we're going to change the time scale for our game. We'll add a public variable for the scale we want to apply when the spacebar is held down. A value of 1 will result in the game running at normal speed. A value of 0.5 will result in the game running at half speed. When the spacebar is released, we want the game to return to normal speed, so we'll create a private variable to hold the original time scale. It's also recommended to scale the fixed delta time value when changing the time scale, so we'll also add a private variable for storing the original value of this. In the start method, we'll set the value of the two private variables. Then in the update method, we'll check if the spacebar has been pressed. If it has, we'll call a method to start the slow motion effect. We'll then check if the spacebar has been released. If it has, we'll call a method to stop the slow motion effect. We'll then create the method to start the slow motion. In here, we'll set the time scale to the desired slow motion scale. We'll also scale the fixed delta time accordingly. We'll then create the method to stop the slow motion. In here, we'll set the time scale back to the original value. We'll also reset the fixed delta time value. Let's save the script and switch back to Unity. We'll set the slow motion time scale to 0.1 in the inspector. Let's press play to try this out. We can now move the ball with the arrow keys and when we hold down the spacebar we'll get this cool slow motion effect. When we release the spacebar, the game will return to normal speed. We can play around with the scale value to create different effects. For example, let's set the scale value to 2. When we press the spacebar now, the game will run at double speed. OK, that covers everything for this tutorial. Hope you found it useful. Please leave any questions or feedback in the comments, and don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss the next one. Thanks, guys.